All right, setting boundaries. It's difficult for many, especially when most of us are social by nature, right? Absolutely. But boundaries are necessary, right? So here to tell us how we can draw the line is motivational speaker Rich Bracken. So good to have you with us so always. Good to see you, Rich. So tell us about boundaries and how do we set them? Sure. Boundaries are tough because we are really, as we talked about, we're social animals by nature. We want to be engaged with people. So understanding that we need to set boundaries is the first thing because we often get, you know, 85% of people don't know how to set them. Right. And usually it's because we don't think about our own emotions. I always compare boundaries to kind of like an emotional house party. If you invited the people around you to your home, who would treat it with respect and who would not? Who would trash your emotional house? And when we talk about setting boundaries, it's really stepping into that small instance where we, t we take that exercise. And we start thinking about all the people in our life and who's going to treat us with respect and who's not. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. So how do we set them? Yeah, we, in, in that exercise, we need to figure out how we feel about those individuals. Most of the reason that people don't set proper boundaries is because they don't understand the emotion that goes along with how they feel about people. So if you think about that array of people, there are going to be people that you're like, oh, absolutely, I trust this person, I understand how they treat, they treat me, and there's a mutual respect. But then it gets down the line, and there, there's some people that you don't want invited to your emotional house. Yeah. And understanding how they make you feel, not just like I, I feel nervous around them or I feel a little bit of trepidation, but it's really understanding like what do you truly feel and what are their actions doing to cause you that stress. Mm. And that is when we need to mm -hmm. start drawing the line. Because boundaries yeah. are really about not saying like no to everything, but saying this is okay and this is not. And, when, and est establishing what that is with each individual. When you do draw the line and tell people, hey, these are my boundaries, Mm -hmm. people overstep them how do you have that conversation with someone because that's tough because it's kind of like they're they don't respect you sure and I'm one of the 85 percent of people that have struggled with that so even the thought of setting a boundary gives you a little bit of a heart palpitation right but it's understanding that those people need to treat you with respect and how you communicate that sets the tone for how they treat you moving forward because mm -hmm. again you don't want somebody walking in and trashing your mental house and that is the way that you can communicate that so there will be people that you need to say hey look this is okay this is not I don't like the way you talk to me I don't like the way you treat me you're too close like whatever that is how are they however they make you feel set that boundary but don't apologize for it because a lot of us are, you know because we are so agreeable at times we want to say well Nick you know I, I'd, I'd rather you not talk to me like that but I understand you're maybe stressed out you're giving them again more leeway mm -hmm. but the people that you draw that line with if they get upset with you they've been trashing your house all along and they've got to go yeah I, and it, to me it sounds like setting boundaries is more for yourself than it is for the other person. Now it is a little bit of both. It is primarily for you because it helps you. It helps your energy. It helps your self care. It really is a form of taking care of yourself mentally and emotionally. But it also sets the tone for the individual because a lot of times we deal with people that may not know how they're acting or may not know how they're treating other people. So if you say, "Hey, look, I am really tired of you talking to me like that," and I don't know if this is a common habit for you, but it's not happening here anymore, that may cause that individual to have a little bit of self-reflection themselves, mm -hmm. and so they may say, "Well." Maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm not talking as nicely. But of course, we're going to have those people that be like, <laughs> "Well, they're just crazy." I'm going to talk. I'm, I don't talk mean to people. But if if you give that person that little bit of self-reflection, it may benefit them as well. I yeah. Like that. I I uh, one example just for those who uh, who may well, yeah. How do you set a boundary? What does it look like? Mm -hmm. I would make plans with this one person all the time. We we play golf together all the time. Almost 90% of the time, I would come over and pick this person up, and they weren't ready. Either they were still sleeping or they weren't mm -hmm. ready. And it kind of like, it, it made me upset. It kind of ruined the day. It ruined the plans. I made these plans. I got up early. We're going to go. And you don't even have the common courtesy to get up and be ready to go and have fun to get together. Mm -hmm. I finally said, look, I said, if I show up at your door the next time and you're not ready, I'm leaving. I'm leaving, and I'm, and I'm going. And I did. Right. And then they got upset with me that I right. left. Right. But, but you were ready. But you were taking care of yourself in that instance yeah. because it was affecting your day, was affecting your emotion. So kudos to you. And if you need yeah. a fourth, call me. You know I'm in. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but at the same time, it's really, again, it's telling that person, like, this is not okay anymore. Yeah. And maybe it does cause that person, or maybe it didn't, but you give them the chance to figure out, like, oh, maybe I need to be more respectful of other people's times and emotions. Yeah. Okay. Always a great topic. Yeah. It's, yeah. Always fun to talk about. And it, it, it is. It's, it's a problem that a lot of people face. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we do these things, right? To help people understand mm -hmm. how to take those little steps into changing their life to take care, better care yep. of themselves. Good chat. Right. Thanks, Rich. Thanks, Rich. For Appreciate being it. Here. Appreciate it. We'll be right back after the break.